Okay people, this is himself and welcome to another Tekken 7 Armor King guide. In this video, we're going to look at his punch reversal. I'm going to show you setups, properties and the oak you get and a specific tip against Leroy. So stick around for that. So Armor King's punch reversal is back 1 plus 3 or 2 plus 4. This activates in 2 frames and it lasts for another 8. Now unlike King's reversal, this works on both left and right punches but the animation you get afterwards will vary. Against the left punch you get a suplex and against the right punch you get a cross face. Now with the suplex they land face up feet away and that means you get some oki. One of the best options is F plus 2 1. This is standards, back rollers and is fast enough to beat at wake up kicks. Now if you get a hard read on back rollers and you're near the wall, a good idea is FF4. This does similar damage to F plus 2 1 but you get a wall bounce. What's also good is that it beats out both wake up kicks and against standards you get a pushback so it can be difficult to punish. One thing I did try was dark upper against standards. In theory this should work because it's one frame faster than F plus 2 but what I found is that you just don't have enough range. Either that or my execution is just not good enough. If you get a hard lead on wake up kicks, the normal answer is hop kick but here you won't reach so what you have to use is DF2. This will knock down and count hit but you can still pick up for more damage. Obviously the escape to all of these is to stay down or side roll but the answer to that is alley kick. This hits people on the floor and hits side roll left. It also beats out wake up kicks and hits standards. But the thing is alley kick doesn't do much damage so people might just stay down and take the hit. Against these guys you can use ground throws. The one throw is the knee bash and the two throw is the pull up but because it's back turned F plus 2 1 is guaranteed. One thing I did test is whether the suplex breaks the floor and sadly it doesn't which is a bit of a shame because King's version does and in my opinion this should do exactly the same thing. Now against the right punch you don't get the suplex, instead you get the cross face and here they end up face down feet towards. But the Oki is actually quite similar. Like before F plus 2 1 will hit standards and back rollers and it still beats out wake up kicks. If you get a hard beat on standards then you can go for a back throw. But why would you do that when hop kick is better? This will launch them back turned and from there I think a burning knuckle combo is possible. But the best option in this case is dark upper. This still launches standards but it also has the range against back rollers. The only issue is the timing is really strict so I'd only go for it if your execution is spot on. Against people staying on the ground you can use alley kick again but what's good here is that as well as catching idlers and side roll left it also hits standards and back rollers. So in some ways this is actually better than F plus 2 1. One way they can escape is side roll right but to cover that we can use D3. This is a whiff against back rollers but it still hits standards and against wake up kicks we get a counter hit. Now if you get a hard read on people staying down then your best option is ground throws again. Here against side rollers you'll get the anchor lock or the pull up and against people staying down you get the mount. One wacky option is back plus 4. On a standing opponent you only get 15 damage but against back rollers and wake up kicks you can do the stunner and that actually does more damage than F plus 2 1. The only reason I don't suggest this is that the throw is a just frame so you might not always get it. So that's the Oki covered but what I want to talk about next is the application. As you saw at the beginning of the video the punch reversal works against unblockables but what you might not know is that it also works with rage drives and seeing as people have low health in rage your reversal might just kill them. Now what the reversal doesn't work against is elbows, weapons and rage arts. Now with that in mind, where is this move useful? Well its best use is against punch heavy characters, people like Steve and Jack. These guys often use punch strings and as long as it doesn't jail, a reversal can seriously help you out. Where it's also useful is against Leroy. If you do a jab and he parries it, you're actually safe because you recover fast enough to block. 
but what you can also do is go straight into reversal. This will catch his punches and he'll be absolutely bamboozled as to what just happened. He was the one parrying you and in the end it's his own move that backfired on him. Now those are character specific tips but what you can also do is set things up against a bigger range of the cast especially if you can bait them into punching. One option is up for 3. On block this is minus 8 but because it's a jumping move people might think it's minus 10 so they might try and punish but if they try and do that and we prep the reversal we'll be fast enough to catch them. Another option is after f plus 3 4 this is one of his mids and it's minus 7 on block so the reversal will work here. What you can also do is something similar with while standing 4 this is minus 6 and it also has some pushback but the tactic still works. One extra feature this move has is the follow up. If you're unsuccessful and you don't catch the opponent, what you can do is hit 2. This gives a mid hitting punch that's minus 10 on block and only plus 2 on hit. But the idea behind this is that you can't hit anyone trying to capitalize and when you do that you get a stun and can do 75 damage easy. The next thing you should do is check out my armor king playlists. I've got two of these, one covering throws and one covering tech and you're bound to learn something from those videos. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter, there's numerous short clips that I upload that don't get a full video and you might be missing out on something.